Okay, give us a background. You worked at Bethel, right? Yes, I was at Bethel for three years. Okay, and then? Um, while I was at Bethel, I was starting to suffer from depression. And my husband calls Daniel Sitley because he knew I liked his talk and his personality. And he wanted him to give us shepherding. He agreed. We go to his office good, before lunch. And he goes, so I think I hear you're depressed. <laughs> Yes, of course you're depressed. You're a woman. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's he says not real you, you have all these I know. cycles. I, I have the same thing too. You know, just, and then when you think yeah, you're, you're done with the cycles, the, um, then there's yeah, menopause. Blue. Blue. And I'm sitting there, and the whole time he's going on about stuff yeah. with him and his wife, and I realized he needs the shit. When you offer me cigarettes, or when? <laughs> but the the by the end of it, there really wasn't much that was helpful for me in my depression. When you were smoking that, though, that's when you're hopeless. You're hopeless. But then, you know, a few months later, I actually got to the point where I tried to. So this guy. This guy is the governing body member. He's giving spiritual food to millions of people, and his answer to your depression was, "You're a woman." Yes. Wow. It, it, it comes with the territory because it's all our cycles and all the things that we go through. Wow, that kind of sounds like they're bullshit. Um, like. Oh, they're sex. Blue ones, really. Oh, big time. Which eventually, months later, um, I ended up trying to attempt those I was at Bethel because no one really helped with the depression. Can I ask something about Bethel? Is it true that that guy jumped out the? Uh, yes, just got that happened before. I didn't know. I didn't find out about that till after. But it makes sense. Um, because that was about the time they were building 90 Sands, and 90 Sands was built with windows that don't tilt open all the way. So, so there is a story at Bethel with the. He, 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 um, he jumped out. He suffered from depression after the death of his wife, and he jumped. He did jump out of window. Okay. Well, thank you. For a little insight on. Oh, they also have oh. a suicide watch room at Bethel. Oh, you do? What? So they have psychologists on staff. Are they Jehovah's Witness psychologists? Yes. So. Damn. That kind of helps. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's not gonna help anything. <laughs> they have do they put bust out the Bible when they're giving you like? Uh, no, no. Actually, he really he didn't he really didn't get into that with me. I was at three months of therapy while I was at Bethel. And actually, what made me start not feeling the stigma of wanting to take medication was because I used to clean that area of Bethel where they had the suicide watch and I cleaned the pharmacy. And on the shelves of the pharmacy were rows of lithium, Prozac, Paxil. But meanwhile, all the witnesses in the local congregations had the stigma that if you take these things, this was wrong. All along, Bethelites were being prescribed this because if it was there, someone was prescribing that medication. That's good. That's good stuff. Thank you very much.